Hello guys and welcome to another Contrarian Gold Mine episode. Today we will talk about one of my favorite companies at the moment. This is a company with really high margins, high returns on invested capital, a really good balance sheet and trading at a low valuation at the moment. This is this might be a stock that will outperform the market in the next few years and we can have uh, huge returns on the market. So if you are curious about Let's start this video, guys. The company is Tiro Price. It's one of the best known asset management, asset management companies in the United States. They do plans, uh, a lot of uh, asset management, retirement plan for the institutional investors and uh, everyone on the United States. Um, when I have looked into this company, I've read a lot of reports. Uh, people in the United States love this company. This is a, a really good compounding in the last few years. So it's basically a company with uh, really good things. And usually the things that we're looking into a company want to buy. So it is a really good company. But with this huge pain that are that the economy is having, it's difficult for them to continue to to outperform the market. That's because uh, investors are, are fleeing away the market, so they are not investing in their in their portfolios. So it's normal for the euro price that doesn't have a lot of inflows. At the moment, they are having outflows, but after the when the economy stabilizes, when you pass this short term pain, inflation going down and in the future, this might be a really good opportunity. At the moment, Tiro Pice is having a lot of outflows, their profits are decreasing. So that's why we, we might, this is a good opportunity in my opinion. Uh, so, but let's look into it. They are trading at a forward P of 12, even though they are not in their trough earnings. If you look into the, the earnings that they had in uh, 2021, they had $3 billion in earnings and they are trading at a valuation. Uh, they have a market cap for around 20 billion. So it will be a P under 10 if you have trough earnings. So this is why this is a, a really compelling valuation. So even looking, they are trading at their earnings are low at the moment. They are last year they earned uh, one and uh, half billion dollars. Um, it's expecting for the next two years they their revenue will still in the range of uh, uh, six point five billion dollars. They will earn around one point five and two billion dollars in the next few years. But they have a lot to improve and to recover. So after they recover that, the stock will go up for sure. So. Uh, they have really good margins, 80% gross margin, huge net margins around 24% now, but in the last few years, they, they were having ne net income margins of 28%, uh, 40% in 2021. Um, we might, uh, we can say that uh, at a good year when the, they are having a lot of inflows, uh, the economy is good, uh, investors are uh, putting money into their investments. The euro price will trade with margins around 38%, maybe 40% in a good year. So now they are trading at a margin of 24, 25%, which is really low for a company like this. They have $2.5 billion in, uh, in cash in hand. So at the value, they have almost 10%. They could, with this money, they could buy back shares 10% of the company. She is really good. They have no long term debt. This is a really good balance sheet for a company like that. Uh, their return on invested capital last year were around 60%, but their five year uh, return on invested capital has been around 27%. This is huge. This is a really good company. Bear in mind, only good companies with a wide moat, uh, a lot of competitive advantage, ever return on invested capital like that, which I really love it. They have a huge dividend at the moment. Their dividend deal is around 5.5%, which is really good. This is not secure, in my opinion, because they are having a lot of pain at the moment. They are, their profits are around the 
half of what was in 2021 and this dividend might not be safe but we will see in the uh, at the moment but looking into our checklist revenue growth they're growing even though last last year their revenue was down 15 percent and they will take some time until they recover but i'm expect them to continue to grow from this this uh, this bottom i do believe uh they have really high gross margin 80 percent really high net margins 25 percent last year but it has the potential to go around between 20, 35 and 40 percent uh even uh, more maybe they have no long-term debt they could uh, they have a return on equities and uh, on investing even though this is only 60 percent because they have not they their profits are half of what was uh, before but uh, the five-year uh, return on investing account has been around 27 percent uh some years uh above 30 percent uh she's really good they have uh, in my opinion uh, a lot of competitive advantage and um, investors really like to invest in the in this uh we, in this company with uh, they have their portfolio and their plans in this company and they love their the company they have a wide moat in my opinion because if they doesn't have a moat uh investor would not like this company and they would not have these margins or this return on investor capital uh, they have been free cash flow positive every year uh, they are returning a lot of capital to the shareholder they have a huge dividend at the moment and they have been buying back shares a, a lot three percent three percent one percent zero point seven percent i do believe this year they will buy back around two percent of the shares which i really love i'm I would love to see this company buying back a lot of the share because this is a, a low value in my opinion and I've done my discounted cash flow um, I could be more conservative but I'm looking forward in the next 10 years so even though they have 25% margins I'm expecting their margins to be around between 35 and 40% so my best case will be 38% uh, I'm expecting them to grow in my best case 8.5 percent in the next five years and five percent after that which is uh with inflation that uh, i do believe they can achieve that p i have to put a little bit of premium uh, the mean is 15 percent but this is a a company with a lot of quality in my opinion high margins i return on investment capital so i have to put a little bit of a premium there so i put 80 80 p uh one percent shares by back uh this contract of 12 percent uh where mine uh the mean if you want to invest you always want at least 10 percent uh, because it was the mean and uh, if you want to to buy a stock you want to to outperform the s p 500 or the nasdaq for example so you have to to have a, a higher discount rate and for for you to have a higher margin of safety so this is my best case bull case and bear case i use a better or worst uh, assumptions and with that i came with an intrinsic value of, or uh, a value i want to buy this company of 123 dollars so the, at the moment they are trading under 90 dollars in my opinion under 100 dollars or close to 100 dollars is it's a really good price for this company uh, bear in mind they are having a lot of difficulties because the economy is not at its best investors are afraid to invest so this is a company that uh, will be at highs when the investors are investing a lot and uh, believing in the market so so with a lot of money of their investors they will earn uh, I, uh, um, their fees so it will they will earn more as they manage more money so that's how it works uh and at the moment under 90 dollars uh it is a really huge opportunity in my opinion bear in mind i do own the stock and uh it's one of uh, my one of my biggest position in my profile i do really love this company and i do own it because i do believe they will outperform the market but finances is having a lot of troubles at the moment they are it's probably one of the best sectors and uh, 
risk reward situation is one of the best they are turning at low valuations and there are a lot of good companies in this sector that in tiro price is one of them is in my opinion so i hope you find this information useful guys uh do your due diligence and if you liked it please subscribe guys bye